Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video I want to talk about my current thoughts and feelings towards Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're heading towards the middle of December 2019, the game's been out for many weeks now, it launched, it's had a few patches, it will no doubt get quite a few more, and I just thought this would be a good time to sum up my thoughts. So I was playing for a couple of hours this morning and I got some gameplay in which I get many more kills than you will see in this one. I also had quite a few frustrating gameplays up against teams of campers on the enemy team, such as on Azir Caves. No one was moving, they were all using the mount mechanic, they were laying down in dark areas, dark doorways, dark caves, there were claymores everywhere. You know the deal if you've played Modern Warfare. And it was a real chore to play again, so rather than use a gameplay which really shows the camping issue, or one in which I do fantastic and get a lot of kills, I thought this was a very fair gameplay to show. I think this one accurately represents how many games in Modern Warfare can go. And it's just a good middle ground, and it will also let me point out throughout the gameplay a few of the, the major issues that I see with this game. But I think the gunplay in this game is absolutely fantastic. It's right up there with the best, if not being the best, gunplay I've ever experienced in an online shooter. And I was so keen to experience it at the start of this game that I rushed into an enemy grenade. That's my fault, there's nothing wrong with grenades in this game. But it was just a gentle reminder to me I need to play it more carefully, because that's what you need to do in Modern Warfare. And I'll get back to that in a second, but look at this guy here now. I got the kill, I benefited from this issue, but I still think footsteps are a major issue. I could hear him coming, he could probably hear me, and like I did in that situation, most players freeze because you know you can hear each other. And if you keep moving, you're simply alerting the enemy to where you are. You can trace their movement even behind walls, and you know the doorway or the window or whatever it is that they're going to pass and where you can shoot them. So it results in a sort of stalemate, no one wants to move, and I really think that detracts from the enjoyment and stops players enjoying the fantastic gunplay that we've got in this game. So the more I play, the more I think footsteps are still a major issue and really need to be addressed. But as I say, I just think there's too much about this game, getting back to what I was saying earlier, that makes you really have to play too slowly and too tactically. Now I don't mind that to some degree, but I just think there's a little bit too much of it. Look here for example, I'm trying to check the doorways, the windows, up the train tracks, everywhere I could get shot from of course, except there. And that's one of the issues I've got other than the footstep audio. I think if you want to move around and enjoy these fantastic maps, because they are beautiful, the graphics are really nice, other than the problem that there's too many lines of sight, too many places you could get shot from, I do think they're fantastic maps, they look well, I, I just like the overall art style and so on, but I just think there's too many places you can get shot from, and it's not easy to look around every doorway, alleyway, cave, window, under cars, under buses, around buses, in shops, behind barricade, you just can't check everywhere that you could potentially get shot from before you make a move. And like most players, I like to move around. But this game makes those who are stationary or camping and not moving around too much, it makes them way, way, way too powerful regardless of their skill level. And I do think that's a major issue, just the places they can stay in and shoot you from, they can use the mount mechanic, there's claymores, the, the type of head glitch scenarios if you want to call it that. And look at this guy here, I mean even if I had looked across there, to my own fault I didn't, but even if I would looked across there, I was still going to get killed, I couldn't react quick enough. And to be blatantly honest, I think he was in a fairly darkish type of corner, not the most dark in the game, but it was quite dark, he probably blended in with his surroundings. I had no chance to see him. And if you think about footsteps, and if you think about that problem I'm just talking about, that may all be fairly realistic, and that's how things would work in real life, how soldiers may operate. 
But did anyone ever buy a Call of Duty game thinking it would be realistic? That's a good question that I've got for you. And I think the answer would be no. And the next point I'd like to make about realism is to ask, in a video game, does realism always equal fun? You know, this is not meant to be a simulation. This is not training for real uh, work on the battlefield. This is meant to be a fun Call of Duty game. And I just question if there's a little bit too much realism. Maybe the footstep audio is realistic, but is it helping the game play better? Are all these lines of sights and potential camping spots helping the game play and flow better? I suspect not. Maybe for some, everyone's got different tastes, but I do think it's spoiling a game that's got absolutely fantastic gunplay from being a truly great game. I think this is a good game. At times I think it could edge towards being a very good game. I enjoy playing it, but I think a few design choices are stopping it reaching true greatness. And that's kind of how I feel about the game at the moment. Don't get me wrong, it, it frustrates me at times, but there's nothing about it makes me think, oh, I don't want to play it. I do enjoy the game, but being honest, I think there's a few things stopping it from greatness. And I really think if they brought back the standard Call of Duty minimap, this would make a huge difference as well. So if they changed the footstep audio, brought back the traditional Call of Duty minimap, get a few more red dots on there. It's nice having them on the compass, but if you get them on the minimap, you can actually see which buildings and so on the red dots are actually in. So it's a great help. And it would just speed up the game a little bit without detracting from the developer's vision and without changing the game overall. It's not going to ruin the game for anyone who enjoys staying in areas just trying to pick off enemies as they as they run past. They can still try and do that. But by reducing the footstep audio, maybe making dead silence into a perk and bringing back the traditional Call of Duty minimap, this game will offer up a bit more freedom to players who do like to move around a little bit and it won't alter the game and I think it would really turn this into a game which excels and goes down in history as one of the best Call of Duty games. That's my personal opinion. Now, right back at the beginning of this gameplay, I talked about why I chose this gameplay and I said it's not an extreme example of people camping and it certainly isn't. I experienced a lot lot worse only this morning in the couple of hours that I played. Also it's not a, an extreme example of me playing fantastically and getting lots of kills. However, I don't think I played badly and I did enjoy playing the game and I did move around and I tried to play quite tactically as well as move around a little bit. So overall, I didn't feel dissatisfied with my efforts. But look, I only got 12 kills. And I can't remember my exact KD ratio, but I think I got a respectable KD ratio. I think I finished second on my team. I've got the highest KD ratio in the entire game. But look at my score, 12 and 5 for all the time that I spent in this game. And I enjoyed it, but I just felt I was left short. I didn't enjoy it as much as I could have, and I didn't have the freedom I wanted to enjoy the fantastic gunplay that Modern Warfare offers. So I hope all that makes sense. I've certainly enjoyed talking about this. It's something I'm quite passionate about. I think we've got a good game here, perhaps a very good game at times. But if the developers only made a few changes and perhaps acknowledged that those changes need to be made, we could have a fantastic game. One which appeals to all style of players. It doesn't drastically change the game, but it could certainly get it appealing to all types of players. So I hope you've enjoyed listening. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments section below. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section, but for now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for another video.